Hi, I wanted to celebrate the 100th episode with a bit of visual work. So, <laughs> one of the things I wanted to show is that I fixed the unevenness of the fog before it was a bit uh, jagged because the walls, the proper walls of the level were different from the fog of war walls so i fix that making the procedural wall uh, part of each level and so the levels now let me show you the levels now have each instance will uh, will have its own procedural wall and lava and luckily it doesn't uh, seem to affect too much the performance let me let me try <coughs> generating 300 levels just to be sure the time it uh, takes is approximately the same than before but let's see it doesn't seem to lag too much uh, it's uh, manageable so another thing I made was to add, to celebrate the 100th episode, like I say, I added a bit of fireworks, or rather uh, dust, dust particles, like you see, um, <laughs> when we enter each new level, we, we want the sensation of uh, demolishing the walls, or, or excavating the walls, so I added these uh, these particles, which are uh, let me show you. They are a one shot particle system. Ah, let me. Yeah, I need to check that. The particle system has ex explosiveness, so the emission is sudden in the area in the surface area of a box. Like uh, like you see here, and it, it's it's very complete. The, the the particle editor of Godot is is very. It has almost all the features I I wanted. Here you uh, you can assign the shape. In this case, it's a pseudo sphere, very with very low resolution because we don't need. We we could add more segments and and rings but uh, it's really not necessary and uh, you assign a material with a certain color etc and uh, all the parameters for the shape of emission the duration it's um, i should perhaps make a more complete video about particles but i'm still learning to to make them so perhaps <laughs> other tutorials are are better so let me set this again to one shot. Yeah. And another thing I made is to add a little script and connect here in the finished uh, signal. You can connect the signal, which, which is when, when the particle system, uh, given that it's, it's, a no, it's a one shot system, it will f finish. So it will emit this signal and uh, call this function here which will delete the particle. And in the level script, I have the function remove fog. Uh, this function before it was in the player, but I moved it here because it's uh, clearer to me. And I, I have, sorry, here I have the uh, dust prefab, which is the, the dust particle. And in that, in that function, uh, we instantiate the dust, add it to the tree, uh, set the global position, etc., and tell it uh, to emit with this uh, this value. Uh, so it, it's uh, really really nice to see how. Let me show you in the remote view. For example, we have here the <clears throat> the first level. Now, when we enter, we will see here that uh, it will be sorry the interface is a bit 
slow when when the game is is running this is the contents of the level of this level we are about to enter you will see that the particles begin uh, populating the level and they automatically disappear after they finish their cycle so that's that's very easy to to set up like i like i show here you connect this the finish uh, event to a function inside the you you have to add a script to the particle obviously to to do this although i think this could be connected to other scripts perhaps if i add a node here and i yeah i can attach if i have another script here for example and and i go to the dust particles and i could attach yeah yeah to the other node this event of of this particle to the other node but uh, yeah it's not uh, not what i want so <laughs> i wanted to show that uh, you can <clears throat> attach different signal different kind of signals to different scripts so it it's um, it's working very nicely uh, perhaps it's a bit junky uh, how how it uh, orders the the explosions of the walls but uh, yeah perhaps i should uh, change this um, what i'm doing is sorting all the walls according to the distance to the player when the player enters and in the script we are after sorting we are in a in a loop we are removing one by one and setting the timer perhaps i should uh, erase at the same time the walls that are at a given certain distance of, to the player but i doubt uh, it will be very noticeable the the difference so for now i will uh, leave it like this and um, yeah it, it's uh, it's been a, a nice progress so uh, thanks for watching uh, thanks for your patience with my <laughs> short and long videos uh, sometimes i'm a bit rambly to explain things but uh, i plan to enhance my planning to to explain different things about the game so again thanks for watching let me know if you have some suggestions or questions in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and consider supporting my work using some of the links below. You can uh, buy my games or, or being a Patreon. Uh, it really helps and allows me to dedicate more time to these kinds of, of videos. Thanks.